Get out. You can't. Get out! Marks. Hey, what's going on, sir? Yeah, how you doing? Okay, not a problem. What time do you need to see everybody? 1300 tomorrow at the team room? Not a problem, sir. I will get everybody together and... No, I, I haven't talked to Mike. Probably about um, eight months or so since he was dismissed. Why? I mean, sir, I can just grab Bailey or Robinson. Both of those guys are just back up and they had... Uh, sir, actually, for, as far as I know, I don't, I don't even think Mike has his calls. Sir, with all due respect, I think that that will... Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. I will have everybody there, Mike included, at 1300 tomorrow. Roger that. to communicate with your prime minister. Explain to him that now I'm in control. Prime minister will not negotiate with you. But if you let my family go, you can do whatever you want with me. I am no fool. You are too important to the government. Freeze my bloody. I will kill this man, I swear it! Sick bastard, I'd have popped you right now. Bloody! Marco! Little brother Marco, how about that? I will kill this man, I will kill him! How about I pop him instead of you, what do you think of that? I think we should let him go. What? Well, bloody. You know how this is gonna end. Let's do something else, okay? There's an exit right behind you. You give us back the hostages, we give you back your brother, you walk out of here and no one dies. Deal? It's a bullshit deal. No, man. Our mission was to come in here and rescue the hostages. We can kill these guys any day. Let them go off and kill more innocent people? The only way you deal with this is by force. It's the only thing they understand. So what? Stop thinking Stand we... down, that's in order. Let him go or your little brother dies. Let Marco go first.
Hey, good job, Meredith. I think I popped that one right in the head. <laughs> oh, I won't have to worry about those goddamn punks anymore, right? I'll be like Charles Bronson. Make my day, motherfucker. Okay, really wish I didn't hear that, but that's all right. You're getting a lot better, though. You hit the paper this time. Am I ready to go on to the machine guns now? Or, the, or those AK-47 thingies? We hit in the paper. That's a good start. Yeah, so right, how about right? we just uh, stick with this guy a little bit longer? Oh, and okay. Then, uh... Okay. Yeah, then we'll talk about moving up to a chain gun. All right, okay. okay I don't want to get too cocky. Yes, get it, cocky? That's, good. <laughs> that's a little pun there. Yeah. Mike, you gonna walk in? I'm busy. Give it to one of the other guys? Yes, for you, specifically. Scope if you want to hit that. Yeah, maybe. You got one in that desk you've been hiding behind? That was Angie and the kids. Carly just lost her first tooth. Trevor finally got off his training wheels, and Angie. Well, Angie actually just had lunch with Beth last week. How's she doing? Shit, I don't know, bro. Why don't you ask her? She's your wife. I'm not ailing any person. You should have listened to me. I made a call. No, Mike, that wasn't a call. That was a reaction. You're a hothead, bro. Always have been. Just like Dad. Hey, you want me to do this? Yeah, because just like Dad, you got a guy killed. Avery's putting an op together and he wants you on my team. Oh, well, I'm out now. Yeah, well, they're reinstating you. Op breach at 1300. Make sure you're there. And that's an order. You're a hothead, bro. Always have that. Just like Dad. You hey, and, and, yeah, and just like Dad, you got a man killed. I understand the phrase of love at first sight, but all I'm saying is, how you even know this girl's real? I mean, you got one picture. He's real. Hey, OLT, you ever get a look at Thorpe's alleged Lithuanian girlfriend? She's Latvian. She's not my girlfriend. You trying to tell me that you ain't made a move yet? When the time is right. So let me get this straight. You're seeing some commie girl from bumfuck wherever that you think is real based off of one picture. And you haven't even had the little balls to make a move yet? When the time is right. I feel for you, Thorpe. I really do. You know, I think you might be the first Navy SEAL in history to die a virgin. 
I mean, unless, of course, women ain't really a thing, in which case... Navy's actually pretty inclusive nowadays. That's right. I mean, you're always checking me out when I'm working out. That's all I'm saying. But, uh... Guess I can't blame you for that. You know, your protein shakes are loaded with saccharin. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, no. Artificial sweeteners are no joke. I mean, those compounds are highly addictive. When rats were given a choice, they chose artificial sweeteners over cocaine. Actual cocaine. Also... Yeah, that's about right. As a medical professional, you should be more mindful of your health. Well, this stupid blender's all janky. Bullshit-ass online reviews. LT, what's this gig about? What's with all the secrecy? Need to know. Yeah, well, that's a bunch of bullshit, man. I'm getting sick and tired of all these little CIA stiffs coming through without one ball between them to hold up a joystick, trying to tell us what to do. Like, we don't know our jobs is... <clears throat> Chris? Sir. We were told 1,300. These gentlemen wanted to see where you work. Agent Maddox, this is Lieutenant Marks, one of our finest. Gents, this is Agent Maddox and Agent Reed. They'll be going over your briefing. Which agency? CIA, NSA? Take a seat, John. Chris? Excuse me. Agent, I appreciate it if you don't touch that. Chris, this comes from Topside, from POTUS himself. Chris, where's your brother? I honestly doubt he'll show, sir. Why don't I just bring in somebody else, like, um, Robinson or Bailey? No. I know your brother as well as I know you, and he's not one to sit on the sidelines when his number's been called. With all due respect, sir, Mike's just not the man that you remember. He's right. I think I gained a few pounds. <laughs> hey, Thorpe. All right, everybody. Hey, you leave your walker outside, old man? There's that Jonesy charm. <laughs> Commander? Good to see you, Mike. All right, everyone, settle and listen up. I'm gonna hand this meeting over to these gentlemen. Agents, these men are my finest. You know their work. United States Navy SEALs, the cream of the crop. I'm expecting they'll be returned to me in the same condition they were received. Hmm? Here's what we know. What you're looking at is a top secret US base that's located in the forests of the Caucasus. The base closed after the Cold War, three months after that, our intelligence team moved in and resumed operations of a top secret nature. That region's tiny. I know we moved back in. That's why it's top secret. <laughs> Shut up, Jonesy. Are we finished? Hey, button up, morons. The base went dark. There's been no contact with anyone in the building for the past 12 hours. We need to know why. Couldn't they have just been overtaken by some sort of hostile force? Not likely. This is the feed from our drone. We had over 100 scientists, engineers, and a security team working in and around that building. This image was taken at 1,436 minutes. This image at 1,437 minutes. Where'd they go? So you're saying that in just over one minute, 100 people vanished? That is exactly what I'm saying. Right? Maybe they just, like, ran off for Thirsty Thursday or some shit, you know? I mean, I heard that the bar girls over that way can be real spicy. Maybe you should take this shit a little more seriously. Petty Officer Jones, or as your meathead friends like to call you, Jonesy. Two counts of insubordination. Negative marks for inappropriate conduct. Yeah, and also the best patch-up record in this history of the SEAL teams. So, trust me, when you're out in the field getting your ass shot off, you want Jonesy by your side. I mean, assuming that you actually like go in the field sometimes. <laughs> All right, assholes, listen up. When I spoke with the president, personally, he recommended this team for the job. I told him you beer-guzzling, dumbbell-pushing, trash-talking ingrates weren't qualified. I wanted to send professionals, but he chose you. You know, that might have something to do with the fact that we saved his daughter's life just two years ago. I don't give a flying shit. I just want to find out what happened at that base. 
What were they working on? The top secret facility in some obscure location, so where are they hiding? Weapons tech, legal research, what? It's classified. But we want you to secure that, too. Okay. So, you want us to go into a classified compound, built for a classified purpose, obtain your classified little toy before it vaporizes more people into classified thin air? That's right. Commander, this is bullshit. Hey, so, if we don't even know what it is, how do we know when we find it? If you find it, you'll know. Studying the terrain? Wasn't it you that always used to say you can't really know terrain until you're standing in it? There's a lot more that's unknown here than just the terrain. This whole ops, one big blind spot. There's a lot more that they're not telling us. Oh, shit. But, hey, that's the job, man. The job is to complete the mission and get everyone home safe. It's a lot harder to do that when you're given partial intel. Christ, you want to know that? Okay, listen up, dude. There's one thing that we are gonna get straight right now before we step outside. This is my team, Michael. You understand? I don't give a shit how much history you have with the guys. I'm not gonna have you dicking up this chain of command. And you're gonna keep that temper in check. Copy? Copy. LT. Good. Suit up. Mike and I are going to stay on this heading. I want you two to circle around, come in from the west, and hold up on the perimeter. Copy that. Weird, isn't it? What's that? Chris being on ILT. Mike on our level. Well, nobody's on my level. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess. You don't have an opinion? I don't know. I think they both got their points. I'm more worried about whatever they got in this facility. The government's always hiding shit. Hey, you do know that you work for the government, right? This is different. Conspiracy blogs are always talking about dark science. Virus engineering, particle splitting. Just being creative here, gum that never loses its flavor. Actually, you know that people used to live here in Vanagum? They would collect the resin produced from the trees. So, yo, please do not do this right and now, man. On. I don't want to hear you. Useless That to resin be called chickle can still be found in gum today. That's where the name chickles come from. We need to get laid, man. It's ridiculous to insert in daylight. Well, when the POTUS says go, we go. So I'm thinking we breach the two-by pattern, give those knuckleheads some cover. Looks like when we get there. Sign says it was a perfume factory. And the only thing I smell is bullshit. Do you hear that? 
No, I don't hear anything. Exactly. That's what had me so spooked earlier. There's no animals, there's no birds, not even a goddamn mosquito. If there was anything alive in this jungle, it's gone now. Save it for your weakest psyche, Val, will you? Jonesy, Thorpe, what's your 20? Hold another perimeter LT. Give me eyes. Yeah, we're alone. Copy. All right, gentlemen. We're going in the front. I got eyes on what looks like some sort of lobby in there. Going in the front? Yeah, we're going in the front. That's rookie shit. Go to the rear entrance. Are you shitting me right I'm now? Shitting. Knock it off, Knock Mike. Knock it off. I hate it when mommy and daddy fight. Michael, this is my mission. We're running up my way. If you don't like that, you can take your happy ass home. I warned you about this shit. Like I said, gentlemen, we're going in the front. I want heads low and frosty. Come on. That's to you, princess. Slightly above normal, slightly below, your dick's gonna fall off. It's safe. Don't ring the bell. Negative. The CIA guys weren't kidding. Yeah. I'm still not buying it, though. You know, a hundred scientists don't just up and disappear. There must be a panic room in the basement someplace where they went hiding. All in 60 seconds. Look at this. Security doors. Advanced, too. Looks like magnesium alloy plating. Don't stop an army from getting in here. Yep. Except that whatever happened happened so fast they didn't even have a chance to seal the doors. Or before they can get off a single round. There's absolutely no signs of engagement. Maybe we're thinking about this all wrong. Maybe what happened here didn't spill in from the outside. Maybe it all went bad from within. Let's continue this way, you guys. Jonesy, Thor, you take a left. Mikey and I are gonna go right. Give me the play-by-play. -play. What do your conspiracy blogs make of all this shit? I don't know. I ain't never heard of nothing like this. Hey, well, I think the CIA spooks set us up. I saw now I'm gonna kill terrorists, man, not ghosts. Man, you can't kill ghosts. They're already dead. It's 12 o'clock. What the hell is that? Looks like ashes. Hmm. Hmm? What do you mean, hmm? You act like you know what's going on. Unless you're not often seeing random ass piles of ash over in your neighborhood. Yeah, I copy that, Jonesy. It's a mess over here, too. Let me check it out.
vanished instantaneously, right? Stay frosty. Let's go check out the back. God damn. The hell is all this? Looks like some kind of code. Maybe they were code crackers like in that movie. Code crackers. Code crackers? They say no code. It's a language. Go left. Go right. Do you smell something? Yeah, it's like like bacon. Copy that, Jersey. I need you guys in the northeast sector right now. We are not alone. Hey, don't move. We're U.S. Navy SEALs. God damn it! We have a tango in the north wing. I repeat, we have a tango in the north wing. Stop! Hey, stop! Great teamwork, guys. Yeah, we'll mark you down for the assist on this one. Get the mask. Okay, relax. Something harmful in the air. We already checked. Except for Thorpe's breath. What's your name? Isabella. What? Isabella. Isabella Fajera. Running it. What do you do here, Isabella? Give it so. English, please. Research soil sample, it doesn't matter now. Jonesy. Isabella, this is Jonesy. He is an awesome medic. He's gonna check you out, make sure you're all healthy and everything, okay? All right, Isabella, I'm gonna need you to look into this. Why'd you run from us? You had guns. You didn't think that maybe we were actually here to rescue you? You want me to stop and ask questions? Guys! Isabella, deep breath. I thought you were something else. Good. Good. She's all right, LT. Something else like what? A mop-up crew. Whatever those people stand into, contain situations. So exactly what kind of situation are you containing here? What do they tell about this place? Just that the people here were working on a classified project. A classified project. And that's it? Caralho, who told me? You want to tell me more? Yeah, all right, all right. Isabella. Hey, look at me. What happened here? Where did all your people go? You're really not gonna kill me. No. I'll show you.
What? How old is this place? I don't know. The team moved into here three months ago. What happened three months ago? The discovery. Damn. Nice crib. So, this is the remodeled wing. See. Si. Three stars on the ground. I'm assuming this basement's lead line. Black and ground penetrating radar. Dark lab. What are you trying so hard to hide down here? What the hell kind of place is this? If I show you this, I can go to prison for the rest of my life. This is a high-security containment vault. Nothing can get in or out once locked down. Let's do this. We call it the device. So what is it? We must always withhold assumption on the makeup or purpose of the device. Withhold assumptions? So, in other words, you don't fucking know? No. But you guys built it, right? We found it two kilometers away in the dirt. Dr. Ryzen moved it here to minimize our impact. Okay, so if you moved it here, then where did it come from? We must always withhold assumption on the origin of... We don't know that either. Okay, so we don't know what it is, we don't know where it came from, but you've been sitting here staring at it for months, and in all that time, what'd you figure out? It has a language, but we can't read it. And the material composition is not periodical. Or even terrestrial. Oh, can you say that again and build nine level science, please? She's saying it's not from Earth. She's saying it landed here from up there. That's just a theory. Oh, so this place is like some kind of dusty fuck Area 52? That's why they had to stabilize this region months ago. They wanted exclusive rights to study it. Right, okay, so let's stay on the things that we actually know here for true, huh, Mike? So you still haven't explained to us how you survived this whole thing. I was in the Faraday room. The fairy what now? You're kidding. Michael Faraday, 1800s? I'm sorry, Tiger, but I missed Jeopardy with Grandma last week. A clean room, it blocks electromagnetic fields. That's why I survived. Survived what? The CIA was shutting us down. They never told us why, but we had only 20 minutes to vacate the building. I just wanted to save my soil samples from the Faraday room. Just lucky. Oh, this is so above my pay grade. It makes sense. Extraterrestrials would engage in countermeasures. Countermeasures? Man, I'm not ending up in no dustpan. Hey! 
We are not gonna start talking all crazy about this thing, you get it? There's nothing crazy about this, LT. There have been multiple counts of unidentified flight hunters named Freeze. after Roswell. Whoa. That's what that has to do. Theory is just a theory. I'm just saying. Sure. I'm just saying we might be sitting on living proof of life in our universe right here. That's why those CIA spooks was acting so spooky. Man, I knew I had a bad feeling about this gig right from the beginning. That's right. I knew it. That's right. Because it's alien. Hey! Everybody chill. Jonesy Thorpe sip it. Right now we need to... Listen to what our LT has to say. All right, guys, I get it. The Pucker Factor's high right now. But well, we've got a mission to do, all right? Thorpe, I want you to get up on that roof and get some sort of communication back to HQ. Tell them that we got her, and we've got that damn thing, and we are ready for extract. You can't get a signal there's a jammer in the roof. Don't even worry about it. He's some sort of damn techno wizard. Now, the rest of us are going to get this thing prepped and ready for evac. What? You crazy? You want us to move it? Yeah. That's our mission. <laughs> Not ending up no ass pile. That's all I'm saying. Give us a rest, Jonesy. You're making us look bad. all this honestly bro i don't even know i'm still trying to wrap my own mind around this thing yeah it's fine just don't let the guys see you sweat i'm not sweating mike and i sure as shit don't need you telling me how to run this team yeah you clearly I got don't it. yeah you got this right lt thorpe over what you got thorpe well she was right they blocked any long range signal in or out radio sat phone it's quiet as Western Front. Okay, so is that good news? Standard DSM. I can reboot the system from here. No, wait a minute. What if they jam the system for a reason? No, dude, we gotta get comms back there. I understand that, but we need to think for a second here. Did you just tell me to think for a second? That's fucking brilliant. God, that is a douchebag. All right, no, why did they put it in the single channel? Hey, 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 well, they had to tell you something. Hey. There's gonna be records here somewhere. Hey, you know something? Else? It's doing something. Thorpe, stand by. What in the hell is it on? I don't know. I've never done this before. I don't think that jammer was meant for us. There's another signal, and it's more complex than ours, and according to the telemetry, it's, it's coming from the device. I think something's falling home. UAV's picking up a bogey. We got company. Is it a plane like one of our guys? They said no backup. And this country doesn't even have an air force. No, it's not a fighter, it's something else. Something big. All right, let's see the feet. Rotating camera. What do you got, Mike? It's, it's nothing. Literally nothing. Well, it's gotta be something, man. There's it's nothing not picking up here, a ghost or a What the hell is going on? Hey, Thorpe, what do you got up there? Is it a plane or something, dude? Thorpe? Thorpe? Sweet mother of... Oh, shit! here with me. Jonesy, keep an eye on that thing. If it does anything weird at all, I want to know about it. Weird? Are you kidding me? Shut up to every fly! Don't worry. Professional. The drone. You know, it looks like somebody shot it down. No, I wouldn't shot down.
Didn't run out of fuel either. I think it hit something. Be ready for anything, guys. See anything? Nothing. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Right now, they're correcting their range. Hey, Thorpe, do you see where that indirect is coming from? I hear you, LT, but I don't see shit up here. Well, they're gonna hit us again, so be watching for it. Copy. Wait, it got me! They still don't have our range. I think they got a stupid wonder spot for them. Hey, you think they get a little better? Yeah. Troopers? I don't see any parachutes. We need rules of engagement. No, we need money. All right, listen up, guys. Nobody fires on these people unless directly fired upon. You hear me? We have no idea if these are actually hostile. They took out our drone. I said let's blast them. Copy that. Got them in my sights, waiting on your go. Chris. Hey! This is a restricted area. Take your men and leave now! This is your last warning! Leave now or we will open fire! What are we doing, Chris? Jonesy, nestle up. I think we're ready for a fight here. Shit, they're scanning us. Just leave me here. I'm not gonna leave my boys up there to die. Josie, come in! Mike, sounds like the goddamn 4th of July up there. I don't have time to explain, but you need to do this shit in lockdown. Hey, no! Now the lock is in here. Keep them up there. Look, I don't know the protocol for a lockdown, man. Joseph, but she does! Lobby, access panel, but you need this. Okay. Hold down the fort, Jonesy's coming. Do you know how to use one of these? Take these off. Don't put your finger on the trigger unless you're going to shoot. Don't point at anything unless you're going to shoot. And do both if you see any little green men. Jim. Jonesy! Jonesy! Squeeze the trigger. Don't pull. Hey. Yeah. Back out! This dude's not going to hold for long, man. I don't be getting all sentimental on me, bro. This is important. I got the call to lock the door! Josie, take cover! Uh. 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 Josie, throw the card over! Okay. Oh. 
told you it was aliens. You mean the ammo that can disappear? Listen, as far as we're concerned, we have four hostiles upstairs. I don't give a shit if they are from Mars or Missouri or wherever, all right? Hey, can you hack us into the security feed? I want to track these bastards' movements. See, five minutes. Track that's their move. What do you want to track their movements for? We know what they want. They're after that thing. Look, look I say we roll it out to them. For all we know, that thing's a goddamn alien atom bomb. What you... Mike, what do you think we should do? That blast killed your co-workers. It killed all the animals outside too, right? Yes. But it didn't kill the trees. So what's your point, Mike? Yeah, my point is that this thing chooses what it will and will not kill. Okay? I think this whole operation is a part of a whole worldwide operation. They dropped a bomb three months ago, but we get lucky it was a dud. Now they're back to fix the wiring. That's why the CIA told you to leave. They knew the tangles were here, but the signal jammer was keeping it hidden. So we got here. That is complete speculation. It's intelligence. Why else would they be here? If they get their tentacles, on this thing, then they can wipe out humanity with the touch of a button and stroll onto their new planet. An invasion. Exactly. An invasion. A vessel like this needs sustenance every three hours. I'm mellowing out. We're dealing with the most existential crisis of the century, and you're making protein shakes. You know, Thor, I like you. I really do. And that's why I'm a teacher. So. Hey. Am I right? We actually keep the lab below room temperature. That's why we wear lab coats. Hmm. I guess I just must be a little more insulated than others. Maybe that's because you're wearing a t-shirt from a teenage boy. What do you think? I'm be over here. Hey. All right, dude, listen. I know that I was a little bit rattled there a little while ago. Yeah, we all got to pick each other up. Sorry. Yeah, but the problem is, Mike, is that then the guys start looking to you for orders. It's just muscle memory, if anything. No, Mike. Then you started jumping in there and giving them pretty damn fast. Is that muscle memory, too? Is that them? What did you expect, little green men? No, I expected them to be like us. Evolution is linear, movement straight line. Yeah, she's right. It's not surprising they're bipedal. Theoretical extrabiology suggests they'd be very similar to us. Yeah, well, there's one thing that's very similar to us. Look at the way they're moving. Tactical, definitely military, at least their version of it. What are they building? What is that? It looks like a shield. Plasma or just concentrated electricity? The barricade keeps us boxed in. How you know? Because that's what we would do. Okay, guys. 
We have four hostels with advanced military training. And the little shitheads have us boxed in. And they have their eyes set on a weapon of mass destruction that'll wipe out planet Earth. In theory. Either way, we need backup. Dude, is there any way that you can get some communication back to HQ? The CIA might know something about these guys. Yeah, I saw a hard line on the roof. I can use a sat phone, but someone's gonna have to patch a line in their communication. Great. Where's that? Shh. Lobby. Where we just came from. Fantastic. All right. Thorpe, you're our eyes, dude. The rest of us, we're all heading up topside in case that place turns into a shooting gallery again. Who ya? Who ya? Let's do it. You gonna go kick me some alien ass. What's this? It's nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. It's a code, isn't it? No. I mean, yes. My degree is in biology, but my hobby is in theoretical language. You need to follow. Cryptography. I know it's boring stuff. Like alphabetic versus cryptographic systems. Yes. I have a theory. I believe their language are more than just words. It's emotion, sensations, math, science, astronomy. Perfect language. I just never found the through line. It says here there are more glyphs when it started. Yeah, it could be like a power percentage. Like a battery. It could be a countdown. That's another theory. Clear left. Clear right. All clear. So you guys said that they stopped your bullets, right? Right. So why exactly are we bringing our guns? Well, if you want to drop your rifle and continue without it, be my guest. Sound good to you, LT? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we all know how much you corpsmen hate carrying anything heavy. <laughs> I'm going to remember that next time you two have bullets in your asses. All right, coming up on the lobby. Clear. Clear. Go. intact if they're still outside. Get to it. Hey, how do you know what line to plug into anyway? It's a retro system, pre-Wi-Fi. Should just be one or two telephone wires. Terrific. Shit. I thought you said, oh, this is only give you like two wires. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm not the one who fell out of computer science. Hey, bro. okay, well, listen up, dude. I, this isn't actually that complicated. Just oh, I bet it, it is. Dirty inside of this. Have you seen this? Yeah, I see what I'm seeing when you drop that coffee. Give me a fucking idiot. Oh, boy. Stop watching the collapse. No, Mike. Just jack into the coax. I know how to read an access panel. Man, it's the red wire. It's always the red wire. Jonesy, shut up! LT, got a tangle right outside the security door. Shit. Roger that, man. We are in a freaking kill zone right now. What? What's he doing? Mike, working on it. Actually, sir, I think this one's a she. I don't care if it's wearing high heels and a skirt, okay? All I want to know is what it's doing. LT, she's gone. What do you mean she's gone? 
I don't know. Maybe it's Dave Quincy, but she's not there anymore. Well, where the hell is she? Got it. Patching in. Get down! <laughs> Jones, are you alive? Did you kill her? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, easy, Jones. Be careful of that thing. Where is she? Where is she? I'm gonna kill her. I don't know, man. You see how fast she moves? Jonesy, talk to me, buddy. We've been breached. Those assholes can teleport. Man, that's some shit of bullshit right there. Is that what I think it is? If you think that it's an alien ray gun from outer space, then yes. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. Rồi xinh kia như trông là vài câu nói chưa kịp nghĩ tới Trời xuân kia sang yêu thương ghé ngang buông lời Cho anh mang đủ cười nắng vùi đem vào trong dòng thơ tròn bay giữa giấc mơ shakes okay but i'm not gonna be flexible about this shit okay 
You can have the blunder. Thank you! I'm in the suit. And who's gonna lead us? I got this. You got this. You know what? You wear the suit. It's in order. Then the rest of us are gonna get in our positions. Who ya? Who ya? Who ya? I have eyes on Tango now. All clear. Roger that. Good luck, boys. Come on, Thorpe. How long till they get the message? Not long. Mike, the trap is set. I repeat, the trap is set. Coming up from the main hallway. Generator room now in sight. Hey, Isabel, I feel like this isn't the generator room. here and I think he can see me. That's not possible. I know it looks like he's trying to make me out or something. Electricity. But it's building up static electricity when you walk. You gotta be kidding me. The more you walk, more static electricity he can't see. You have to release the static charge. Well, I'm losing you. Give me something here. Whatever you do, don't touch anything metal. Screw it.
generator room. Is this thing following me? Okay, look for door 186. Right! Any day now, Mike. Cover! I'm running low! Contact left! Isabella, I'm in. I can hear the big guy coming in. That door is three inches of steel. Uh, I don't think it's gonna hold. There's no way you can get in. I think I made it. What do I do now? The keys are on the wall. Oh, come on! Firing at us. Holy shit. They're draining our ammo. Should do electronics. Not the blender. Do not shoot the blender. I'm a Navy SEAL, not a goddamn janitor. I'm a Navy fucking SEAL. Oh. Shit. No! It's beautiful. Jones, are you good? It's me. Did we get him? Yeah. I think we did. Let's go. Let's go! Hey, 
What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Just tell me what you guys want from me. Hey! What do you want? Tell me! Going in and hitting with everything we got. We'd be walking into an ambush. Besides, it looks like they want them from... I don't give a shit about that! Chris is gone. I'm in command. I said we hit him with force. It's the only thing they understand. Yo, LT, wait. I really don't know about that, man. I saw their home. What? When she did the teleporting thing, man, I saw a city. It was it was shaped like a beach shell. It was... It was peaceful. Beach shell? Yeah. Look like this. Exactly like that. Fibonacci sequence. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, what? Fibonacci sequence is a mathematical pattern. It's found everywhere in nature. Shells, DNA, and that thing. I always tried to read that language in a straight line. If I read in a spiral. And that's your through line. Exactly. What are you doing? The thing is a bomb. I don't think it's a bomb. Found our bargaining chip. Just chilling. You? Chilling. Isabella! You're up! Is it a bomb? It's a life pod. Crashed here, they've been looking for it ever since. All right. Listen up, you slimy bastards. You can be my bro. I'll give you your boy. Deal? Mike. I got this. Chop your weapons. It's an order.
back. The Banachi sequence. Well, what's the call, LT? I'm thinking of beer. Copy that. More and more that I think about it, I think that we need to just stay with the scenario that we planned on. Because every time I think of telling them the truth and be like, hey guys, I got abducted, it's like, and I still don't even remember what the hell happened there anyway. It's fighting an artifact that ends up being an alien test tube, baby. You know, me putting a suit on to make me invisible. Jones, you warping between worlds. Exactly. Just makes it sound like nut jobs. Exactly, dude. They're going to pull us off in duty for sure. Now we just stay with exactly what we got, or exactly what Thorpe said. Right, we found evidence of heavy engagement with explosives, and there was a down drone there already found an empty lab. One survivor, research scientist that was already there in the lab, we interrogated her, story checks out, we gave her over for observation. She didn't remember shit. Right. 